Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 19th of August. Uh, starting off, in fact, with uh, Amigo, which uh, I think I looked at yesterday, but uh, the excitement just building at the moment, given the uh, uh, m mention of the company in the Times today. Uh, the big breakthrough here technically has been uh, the uh, push through the 50-day moving average at uh, 9.16 pence, while we're above that on an end-of-day closed basis, which is also the floor of the rising uh, trend channel I've drawn from uh, the beginning of July. We should see further upside, ideally towards uh, the top of the channel, around uh, 18 pence over the next few weeks. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait to just see whether we can get an end-of-day close above yesterday's intraday peak at 11.16 pence that uh, would and should uh, add to the momentum uh, recovery momentum for the shares. RSI at 60, so bounced off the neutral 50 level over the early part of July. That should be a leading indicator on potential upside for the shares over the uh, near term. Uh, next up, a stock which was uh, requested by um, a friend on uh, Twitter, and if I can just put it in the right uh, uh, epic code, um, we'll we'll see it. Uh, N Brown Group. Uh, so far, we've had uh, a two-day hit of the 200-day uh, moving average at 63.7 pence, which is a typical behaviour in these situations. We've got support from that uh, broken February uh, resistance line uh, at around the uh, 55 pence level. So above 55 pence on an end-of-day close, looking for further gains. They could be towards the top of the April uh, trend channel, currently heading towards around 87 pence. This stage only really back below June resistance at uh, 49 pence on an end-of-day close basis, really delaying the upside scenario for uh, N. Brown. I suppose if you're cautious, uh, you might wait for an end-of-day end close above, or a weekly close above the 200-day line before targeting further upside for the stock. Uh, next up is uh, Duke Mount, uh, which um, has uh, gingerly uh, pushed its way higher. Uh, in fact, today it's actually had a, a, a pretty good uh, can daily candle with uh, opening at the low and so far at the high of the day, which is uh, normally a good thing. Uh, all of this price action here over the last week or so uh, looks like a bull flag uh, above the 200-day uh, moving average of 0.71. So at least while we're above the 200-day line looking for further gains uh the level or the resistance to break now obviously around uh, 0.85 which has been a resistance over the last couple of months end of day close uh, above that today we should finally be on our way towards uh, a decent upside uh, and that would be at the top of that rising trend channel from uh the beginning of october last year currently heading up to uh, 1.4 pence plus as you can see normally uh, the shares uh, once they break the 200 day line uh, they keep they keep on uh, they keep on going and there isn't really any charting resistance between 0.85 and 1.4 pence. Stop loss on the buy argument at the moment, probably back below that triangle there. So uh, sub uh, 0.7 uh, would uh, might delay the upside for a little bit longer. Uh, Haydale is a stock which I think the bears were, had their, uh, got their teeth into recently. Um, clearly didn't work very well as uh, have uh, most of the uh, bear targets in the recent past. Uh, most of them have actually uh, turned out to be uh, rampant buys rather than sells. Uh, here we've got a wonderful breakout for Haydale really here through obviously the uh, July resistance which was around um, the five pence area. Uh, looking back on the chart you can see that um, we're now back where we were roughly at the beginning of um, 2019. Uh, but there does seem to be more gas in the tank for the stock. So uh, uh, while above six, looking for the top of that June res the June uh, price channel as high as 12 pence. And that's valid really while we hold above yesterday's uh, resistance at 6.87 pence. So while we're above that, we should head uh, towards the 12 pence zone relatively easily. Uh, next up, a stock which I know has its fans, its followers, uh, as well on social media and beyond, um, uh, Pembridge Resources. Uh, so good to see that uh, after the full storm that we had for the shares in June, uh, the, uh, the stock's having uh, another go. Uh, the reason for the relative enthusiasm now is that uh, the shares have broken that line of resistance from uh, late June and the 50-day moving average at 3.33 pence. Uh, at least while we're above this uh, broken resistance line at 3.4 pence, uh, we could head up to uh, the top of that rising trend channel from March, uh, which is implying an 8 pence target. 
and hopefully seeing that as soon as the end of next month. But uh, while we're above the 50-day line now, it looks as though uh, the shares are either sideways or uh, hopefully heading higher. Uh, interesting to see um, Pathfinder Minerals today. Uh, we've got a nice little um, bull flag uh, on the on the daily chart now, um, holding the gains of uh, well, the August gains to date, and uh, new support coming in above uh, previous resistance. So all the, the right boxes are being ticked at the moment. Uh, the only uh, barrier really is uh, the top of that uh, gap at uh, 0.75 on the 200-day moving average. So if you're cautious on the shares, you'd be looking for an end-of-day close above the 200-day line. But at the moment, really, while we're above uh, the latest uh, bull flag at 0.6 pence, we're looking now towards uh, the top of a broadening triangle from May as high as 1.2 pence. So let's see how that uh, particular situation develops. Uh, Ruralek is uh, the next stock, and uh, here you can see uh, 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 what's become rather typical in recent days in terms of the uh, uh, the small caps, a vertical line to the upside. It won't be the last one today. Um, here we can say really that we're uh, obviously we've, we've approached uh, uh, one year highs uh, uh, on the shares. End of day close through one pound, uh, one point two pence uh, would be enough, hopefully, to get the shares up to the top of that broadening triangle from the beginning of 2019 up to 1.8 pence. And at least while we're above uh, that uh, December peak area of 0.9, uh, the upside argument hopefully will still stand once the uh, dust settles on the latest spike that we're looking at at the moment. Synergen, one of the rallies, uh, one of the one-day rallies of the year, uh, and probably the decade, uh, given uh, uh, the way things are panning out. Um, uh, Synergen, beautiful price action since the... Uh, uh, the spike, the, the gap that we had, uh, which was through resistance, we only really retraced about what uh, just under half of the uh, of that one-day spike before uh, starting to move higher. What's interesting to note now is that we're in a rising trend channel from the second half of uh, of um, uh, July, which is effectively a, a bull flag, a extended bull flag, and uh, the latest break above uh, two two pounds forty, which was the uh, July peak uh, suggests that while we're above 240, uh, the target here should uh, rel easily be, uh, relatively easily be, uh, the £3 level. So that's uh, pretty something to look forward to. Uh, if you're a real Synergen fan and like to dream of uh, uh, buying the first Rolls-Royce, uh, the um, the big target here on a maybe three to six month uh, time frame would be the March resistance line projection currently pointing as high as Five pounds ten or five pounds twenty. So uh, everything really relying here on two pounds forty holding uh, that previous resistance at this stage. Really only back below the floor of the channel and uh, the twenty-day moving average at uh, two um, pounds fifteen. Really, de uh, really um, delaying uh, the upside scenario. Um, I covered uh, Sense Scene. Uh, I think a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, looking uh, progress, uh, it's progressing well. Uh, we broke, I suppose, we must have broken uh, the uh, the line of resistance there uh, around the thirty five pence level uh, from April and uh, progressed well, as I said. Uh, now we're above uh, May resistance at um, at uh, around the fifty pence level, and uh, while we while we hold above that on an end of day close basis, looking for a best case scenario target over the next two to three months as high as uh, the top of that triangle from March at pound ten, So plenty to shoot for there at uh, Sensine. Uh, this stage really only back below that old uh, May resistance of 43 pence, really delaying uh, the upside scenario uh, for that stock. Uh, new name, uh, which is always nice, um, Van L. Van um, L is the uh, next uh, situation. It's good here that we're near the bottom of the range. Uh, we've just broken the 50-day moving average at 32 pence, extended base on the shares from March. So all the, the, the dirty work, I think, has been done. And uh, the view here is that while we're above the 50-day line at 32 pence on an end-of-day close basis, we could hit uh, that March uh, resistance line projection at 45 pence over the next two to four weeks. Uh, flash in the pan, uh, rise for uh, Wishbone today. Um, I think a lot of people will be relieved that uh, the stock is uh, uh, finally on its way. In terms of what to do next is concerned, obviously you could just stand aside or cash in your chips, but uh, the view is that uh, at least while we're above that uh, initial 
January resistance at 2.2 pence. There could still be further upside uh, following the gap uh, through the 200-day line today. Best case scenario target here over the next, uh, I suppose, couple of weeks, four weeks, something like that, would be um, the shares hitting that uh, resistance line projection uh, from December last year up there at three and a half pence. I suppose the overall thing, overall pattern here, uh, a broadening triangle, as I have just drawn. Uh, finishing off with uh, one of the uh, highlights of uh, last week, I think it was, um, or the week before last, uh, Zoetic. Uh, beautiful consolidation here, uh, this V-shaped uh, bull flag breakout. Uh, it's always good to see those. Um, the shares uh, d uh, did their uh, dirty work in terms of uh, maybe shaking out a few weak hands with that uh, uh, decline to 13.5 pence, which just overlapped with the November resistance uh, just below 14 pence. So uh, uh, weak hands shaken up um, after that uh, vertical, uh, the Harrier jump jet type of uh, move that we had there. Looks like we've got another uh, Harrier style uh, move here, which could take the shares up towards uh, the top of that rising trend channel at 28 pence over the next uh, few weeks, perhaps even as soon as the end of the month, the way things are going there. Beautiful green candle today. And uh, obviously all the near-term moving averages rising, even the 200-day line now starting to rise as well. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.